Fly fishing for brim in snaggy terrain, especially from a kayak, is not only challenging and heaps of fun, it can also be a highly effective way to target these popular and wide-ranging fish. Make no mistake, you'll earn every brim you land, especially the bigger ones. The great news is there are thousands of estuaries all around our vast coastline with snag-studded stretches like this, and they all hold brim. The other good news is that you don't need specialised gear. A trout style fly outfit in the 5 to 7 weight range will do the job with a floating, intermediate or sink tip line to suit the depths and currents that you're dealing with. But beef your leaders up. I certainly wouldn't go any lighter than 3 kilos and in many instances 4 and even 5 kilo tippets are needed in tiger country. The most productive flies for brim generally imitate shrimps, prawns, small fish or crabs. There are plenty of great patterns online and you can tie your own or buy ready-made flies. Joe and I are especially fond of Aussie-made BWC flies and BWC also sell fantastic do-it-yourself tying kits. Check them out. OK, let's get out on the water with Joe and look at some of the basics. First up, you need to realise that brim love structure. The gnarlier, the better. You need to be getting your flies as close as you can to the timber, rocks, mangrove roots or other hard structure, bearing in mind that it's likely to be encrusted with sharp marine growth like barnacles. If you're fishing this terrain, you will get snagged up fairly regularly, although it's often possible to roll cast your fly clear of the obstruction and keep right on fishing. There you go, just like that. Land your weighted fly as close to the target as possible and give it a few seconds to sink down into the strike zone. Then commence your retrieve by stripping line. Be alert for a take at any stage. It's best to strip strike and then lift into the weight of the fish. The first seconds are critical. Do your best to pull the hooked brim away from its lair and out into open water. We often backpedal our native watercraft yaks to help pull bigger fish clear, but in this case Joe has the upper hand from the outset and it's obvious that she's in control. Soon she's reaching for her short handled net and preparing to land the brim. Long fly rods, long leaders and kayaks can make this process a little tricky, but stay calm and it'll all come together. Success. It's no blue-nosed monster this time, but every single brim taken on fly is an achievement worthy of celebrating. If you're using sharp hooks, as you should be, they're typically pinned in the rubbery lips or the corner of the jaw, and it's usually not too hard to remove the fly. But have some long-nosed pliers handy, just in case you need them. Jo takes a few moments to admire her first brim of the session and gets a rough idea of its length using her hand span before quickly returning it to the water. A little wiser, but none the worse for its alien encounter. Nice one. OK, on to the next snag, but don't ignore the more open stretches of bank between the major snag piles either, especially if they're relatively steep. These banks often hold fish, and it's worth probing them with a couple of exploratory casts. Mix your retrieves up too, with short and long strips as well as plenty of pauses. Often it's more effective to just fish the first few metres of water close to the bank or snag, then lift off and recast your fly to a slightly different spot. You can cover water quite quickly this way, and sure enough, Joe's found another willing customer. Brim are active fighters on light fly gear, so treat them with the respect they deserve and use that long, soft rod to soak up their lunges and head shakes. Once they're clear of the snags, you can relax a little and really enjoy the encounter. Very occasionally, a big brim might take enough line to get you back onto the reel, but mostly you'll fight them by hand stripping line, as Joey's here. It's a really fun way to catch a fish, as you get to feel every twist and turn through that taut line. Just be ready for any last-minute flurries as they get closer to the kayak, and let a little bit of line slip through your fingers if you need to. Your landing net should be within easy reach so that you can quickly grab it at the appropriate time. Keep your rod up high, bring the fish to the net rather than chasing it, and slide it over the submerged net rim. It's as easy as that.
This one's a bit bigger too, getting up towards the 40 centimetre and kilo plus range, which is a ripper of a brim in anyone's book, but especially on fly gear. Brim aren't too bad to eat, and we do keep the occasional one, but mostly we prefer to release these long-lived and slow-growing fish. We reckon they're simply too good to catch just once. OK, back into it, and now Joe's working a stretch of bank with a few lay-down logs, prime terrain, so it's hardly surprising that she quickly pulls a strike. This is another strong, active brim, and it's carving up on the surface, as they often do in relatively shallow water. Kilo for kilo, they're a great fighting fish. While Joe's landing this one, let's just recap the basics. You'll need a five to seven weight fly outfit. You can use floating, intermediate or sink tip lines, and you should run a three to four meter tapered leader with about a four kilo tippet. Best flies are lightly weighted prawn and bait fish patterns tied on number six to number two hooks. Cast your fly as close to the structure as you can, let it sink a bit and retrieve it with a mix of short and slightly longer strips, punctuated by distinct pauses. When you get a take, strip strike to set the hook and try to steer the fish away from those leader cutting obstacles. Once out into open water, enjoy the battle. Take your time and stay calm. And remember, every brim on fly is an achievement worthy of celebration. Catching brim on fly isn't quite as hard as many people seem to believe. If you put the time in and work on your game, you'll almost certainly enjoy success in the end. And it's definitely worth the effort.